My name is Johnny Moore. I am the CEO of the ANSA Incorporated located in Baltimore, Maryland. Today I want to talk about why I call man a millionaire. Let's face the truth. Man seeks unlimited bounty. Nothing can possibly satisfy anybody short of unlimited supply. Why do you really go to work every day? Just to get paid? Or is there something deep inside of you that wants you to prosper? A loving father, which is God, thought of this first and provided a lavish universe for us to prosper with unlimited substance. Then he gave us a mind. And that mind he gave us was the ability to claim those things in our lives that is pertinent to our success and, per and pertinent to our prosperity. God is just as much as the provider for his children as he is the healer of his children. The Lord can provide for us is just as much a biblical promise as the Lord can heal us. So... You should not get mixed up with the idea of lack anymore. Then getting mixed up with the ideas or the thoughts of sickness. God is the healer of both in our lives. And so today I want us to understand that we serve a good God. He's a God that is abundant in supply. A God that wants to supply all of our needs. He's a God Read your Bible. When you read your Bible, it does not talk about a God of suffering. It does not talk about a God of poverty. It talks about a God that wants to bless his children with riches and abundance in the multitudes. So, transforming our mind about God and the way we think about God is important. We must change our thoughts because God wants us to prosper and we need to understand that we serve a God of prosperity. So then, stop blaming God for the life that you are living. God has given you everything that you need. He has given you the ability to think. He is not a God that wants you to suffer. So, He wants you to prosper. And he gave you a mind to prosper. Now, how do you use that mind? You understand that whatever you're living today is coming from your thoughts. Whatever you believe about your future, whatever you believe about your life, whatever you believe that, that you can achieve or you can't achieve, those are the things that are coming to pass in your life. And so you've got to use your mind in a positive way. You've got to use your mind to, uh, to elevate your life because everybody wants to elevate their life at some point. You've got to stop thinking that somebody else is going to swoop down and give you the hope and the substance that you need. That's not going to happen. You've got to realize that God has already given you everything you need. He's also giving you purpose. You need to know what your purpose is. You need to live out your purpose more than to live for a paycheck or live for money. You need to live out what God has decreed for your purpose here on earth, even if that purpose entails you working with another organization or working under someone else. Stop looking to be the boss because you're not always the boss. Some of us are the followers of the bosses or the leaders that God has decreed or put into our lives. And so many of us have been told all of our lives that we don't matter. And because of that, we, are, we have suffered greatly. That is wrong, and that's not true. You do matter. You matter to God. You matter to me. There are, there are a lot of different people in the world. There are some that are racist. There are some that don't care. But there are a lot of people that care. There are a lot of people that care about your life. You do matter. And never think that you don't matter. You would not have been created if you did not matter. There is something unique about you. There is something purposeful, purposeful about your life. Use that. Find that. And begin to live that out in your life. It may take a while. Because it doesn't happen overnight. So you've got to understand that your ability to prosper is the contingent upon your ability to change your mind about God, about your future, about yourself. All of those things are important 
in your life. Your life is in your hands. You are in charge of what you can achieve in your life. Let your life uh, be contingent upon nobody else's thoughts. Because whatever anybody else think about you does not matter. What you think about yourself, that is what really matters. God is a loving father and we are his children. Would a good father abuse his children? Not a good father. And he's a good father. And so he's not here to abuse you. He wants you to prosper. And I want you and, and, and many other people want you to understand who this God really is. I think it's important to your life. It's important to the, uh, 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 the plight of addiction in our lives today. We've got to understand first and foremost who God is, and then we can begin to come out of things that hold us in bondage to, uh, to the addictions in our life. Uh, living life, then, is not based on what you see. i got to say that, because you've got to understand that what you see may be devastation, what you may see is poverty, what you may see is food stamps, or some other kind of way of living. That is not how you live life. Life is not based upon what you see. Life is based upon what you believe. What do you believe? What is going on in your life? What is it that you believe? Everybody believes something. Something deep inside of you is motivating your actions and then are determining your life. Change what you believe and you might very well change your life. Stop looking for handouts. Stop waiting for handouts. Handouts, handouts are not coming to us. Live your life. Stop looking for someone to give you a boost. There are people now out there that will help you get to the place that you are looking to get to. There, will people, there are people out there who will help you achieve the results and the things that you want to achieve in your life. They're there. And you will find them on the path of your particular purpose but you've got to walk out your purpose for yourself you got to live your life for yourself and whatever you need along the way will come so then why call man a millionaire because God has given you everything to prosper so that's why we call man a millionaire look around you there's plenty of water there's plenty of trees there's plenty of grass He's given us plenty metal, everything you need, plenty wood. He's not a God that has created a world of lack. He's a God that has created a world of abundance. And then what he did was he gave us dominion over it so that we can begin to grasp these things and walk out these things. What you say every day matters. Stop thinking negative. Stop uh, 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 promoting negative thinking or saying negative thoughts. Begin to live a positive life. Think positive every morning. Begin to use your mind to just transform your life. And things will begin to happen for you. And sometimes things will begin to happen quickly. And so, today I wanted to give you a, a preview of what I think is important as you go forward in the plight of addiction, in, in, in the process of your life. I wanted you to learn how to govern your life more effectively. That's your mind. That's your thoughts. Use them well. Don't play with that part of your life because that's so important to your success. In the name of Jesus Christ, I give you all the praise and honor today for your people. God, I ask you to just move in their life abundantly to give them every need and, and give them purpose and meaning in their life. Begin to, to move them to higher heights and, 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 and to uh, elevate them into deeper uh, places as, as you've elevated me. As you're elevating each and every one of us who believe in you, who trust in you, that you're going to make it uh, all come to pass. Now there's a process, God. And we know that there's a process and it may take time. But God, we begin to ask you right now to begin to just transform our minds about you. 
to renew our minds so that we can become positive people, positive thinking people that can achieve great and wonderful things. And God, we give you all the praise and honor and glory because without your son Jesus Christ, without the hope of the world that you sent that said, so that all men can be saved, God, there would be no hope for none of us. But you gave us hope, and you gave us meaning, and you gave us life. And for that, God, we give you all the praise, honor, and glory. Amen.